Hello everyone, Sam is here from MyFirstMagicWeb.com uh, making this a small video about um, uh, uh, for actually for YouTube uh, and uh, want to show uh, how uh, we did uh, last week uh, and last several weeks actually uh, some of those uh, uh, long time frame charts that we've been trading and uh, I made them, I do, did my analysis and I sent out to all the subscribers and we were all uh, watching them and, and trading them. So I just wanted to show you so uh, you know what we do. And if you are interested, you can join us uh, uh, later on. So le uh, let's get started. This is uh, one of those chart, um, pound USD H1 chart. Uh, it was a small chart, a small trade, but, you know, came up. So I just wanted to show you on Friday, late Friday, actually. So... Well, not late Friday, but Friday. So this is one, two, three, four, five. Uh, it's just like Elliott wave count, right? One, two, three, four, and then I said, well, the fifth wave is going to be coming down here, and nice and clean. It did uh, came down. Let me see what happened here. Why well, it's not uh, switching? Now it's switching. Okay. So this is uh, what happens: one, two, three, four, and then wave five, and it should be followed by wave A, B, C correction later on so this trade nice and clean 64 pip I got I don't know how many pips other people other traders other all the subscribers got uh, some of them uh, probably never see because it, you have to be very quick and some I noticed that some of those uh, uh, emails uh, uh, you know people didn't open it for, uh, hours later so they probably missed that Anyway, so now uh, let's go to the next chart I want to show you what's happening in the US, uh, USDX also, Elliott wave count in play, uh, wave 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 was complete and the price was coming down. So I said, well, it should be coming down in, you know, like A, B, C, uh, correct fashion. And uh, this is what happened. A came down a little bit lower than I was anticipating. So I said, well, okay, it came down all the way here and bouncing from the trend line. So might go up for the B wave. In fact, it came down even a little lower than the trend line. And then went up for the B wave. You see that here? So this is what happened on last Friday. Uh, I came down, uh, poked into the uh, below the trend line, uh, and uh, give us a false alarm. And then uh, went back inside the this trend line and went all the way, where I said that the wave B should be. And if I'm correct, if this Elliott wave count is correct, then we should be coming down for a C wave, and that will send. Uh, euro pound and uh, Aussie dollar you know, flying to the upside so let's see what happens uh, just be aware of it and uh, you know trade accordingly uh, me uh, I do webinars and uh, on a daily basis if anything is significant change turn I immediately send uh, charts uh, and analysis and suggestions uh, in the email to all the subscribers so uh, if you subscribe that's the advantage you have Anyway, so some of those uh, old charts, uh, look at this one. This was uh, 17th May. Daily chart, uh, USD franc. This is kind of, uh, this is a, a harmonic pattern called butterfly, ending around 1.618 D. And this is how you trade this pattern, okay? I usually start trading from point C. Uh, conventional way is just trade. Once the pattern is finished at point D, then you short it. But I, what I do is I start long uh, from point C, then another long at the break of point B because a lot of pip is to make. Why not, right? You know, uh, we need to invent things, right? You don't have to follow uh, <laughs> the old concepts. Anyway, so this is how I wrote it down. Trade number one, trade number two, trade number three. This is how I do it. And from there, I sell it. So what happened next is this one, okay? So this is X, A, B, C, you know, this is uh, the point D, and it came down all the way, 600 points. And it came down in a little bit of fashion, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then next week you can see what will happen. I'm not going to tell. <laughs> I'll leave it for you to judge and take advantage of it. Uh, let me show you the same pair, but the little bigger picture was this, a nice head and shoulder pattern uh, because of this. Uh, you see, these are the study that I teach. I mean, these this is powerful patterns, and um, you know, if you locate them, you know, on a daily and a weekly chart, they are really, really powerful. Okay, and they're very uh, correct. 
accurate. Now, so look at this, how similar it is, right? Ending butterfly and then um, corrective uh, bearish girdle. Ready to go down. So in this one, I said if this scenario is any good, then we will be coming down in five wave. This is the, the reason, the chart, the pattern, and this is what happened. 600 pip drop exactly to this trend line. And now we're bouncing a little bit, but I think we're going to drop even more further next week. Okay. This is the pound franc and what's happening in pound USD. Uh, this is the chart set out on April the 14th. Channel was hit channel trend line right here and I said look for long setup above this channel TL if we make the turn we will get one and usually uh, if the price goes for the wave 2 or wave B it goes back in three wave fashion ABC correction what we call okay and uh, this is how it goes you know ABC this is the correction harmonic patterns are nothing but Elliott wave in just different perspective that's it different way to look at it but they are basically Elliott waves so this drop wave one or a and then you have a b c correction to the upside sometime it is only 61.8 sometimes 78.6 sometimes 50 percent and uh, this is what happened then you can see it went up in three waves a b c and uh, i was hoping that we will hit this at least 57.79 level before we drop because this trend line is going to stop it but uh, FOMC and thanks to Mr. Ben, ben Bernanke, you know, we came down a little early. So it's okay. That happens. And uh, doing that, and this is a weekly chart. So once you have a direction on a weekly chart, you pay attention to the small charts like a daily or four-hour chart to see any patterns and anything to trade. So look at this one I found. Uh, once the price came here, then create point B and C, and then it says, well, this is nice, uh, you know, A, B, C, and we need to go up there. So uh, this is this pattern is very nice according to my uh, plan, right? So we start trading this nice and clean, and we went up there. Okay. So it's a lot of pipish to make, several trades to the upside. So this is how it is. And Euro, by the way, do, was doing the same thing as we can see right here. Was a nice pattern on a daily chart. So what Euro US, uh, pound USD was doing, and this one, the same scenario, same situation, then it becomes even more powerful. So um, again, C point was made here, and I was expecting to go all the way up, and we did went, we did go up like very close, but then again, FOMC. Boom, drop. All right. So what can you do? This is Forex. That's what things happens. So you see that that's what I'm saying, talking about, that if you can trade and make a lot of pipage from C to D, why wait to get the D point <coughs> or the price to reach at D point and then sell it? I don't do that. That's the conventional way. But you can see the trade number one, buy at C right here. Then trade number two, buy at the break of point B right here. <clears throat> so you see, this pattern never reaches point D. If I would have been waiting for this to happen or price to reach at point D, I would not make a penny. <coughs> it will just drop. But believe me or not, <laughs> you have no idea what I did from C to this point up. <laughs> okay. So this is how it is. And um, another chart that I want to show you is like a daily chart of uh, pound yen. Uh, this has been a very, very good to me, this pair. I love it. And uh, even though now I think that probably going to drop this turn line and, and, and go down. But uh, at this point, I said, take long setups above this level. And look what happened is, I mean, it, it went this far, not too far. But it is, you know, this is on a daily pound yen chart. It's like several hundred pip. And we did a lot, a lot of uh, trades in between. Let me let me show you uh, some of those. I think I have it here. Uh, this was uh, pound yen. See, this uh, June twenty first uh, coming down. But let me show you. Do June twenty is should be here somewhere. Right. See this entry. How beautiful it is by the book. Nice two hundred pip trade on June twenty. It gave me bounce from that trend line that on a daily and June nineteen as well. Even before that, but I don't have the chart for this. You know, before that week. I had a very nice uh, up uh, run and trade, 
and then trade and trade. But this is just the, this, you know, in, in a few days, be, uh, few days ago, 19, 20, and 21. Uh, in, in, and it has given us, uh, you know, a, a huge amount of tippage, this pair and this setups. Okay, so this is how it is. Uh, the reason to make this video again, to show you how these uh, before charts works and uh, you get in the mail. Uh, if you subscribe, you will get it. Uh, you will be able to attend my webinars. You will get, you know, ask questions through the email. Uh, any analysis that you want, uh, I'll make and, and give it to you. Then I teach you how to uh, pinpoint these entries, how to make, how to find this turn, these bad patterns or butterfly or, you know, crab and all that. And uh, how to count these Elliott waves, what are the calculations and uh, you know how to make entries from magic wave uh, setup strategy okay so you learn all these things uh, and be believe me or not without learning and uh, there is no such thing that you know automatic trade and, and and you can just make money you need to learn that even if I'm making the EA then you know I realize that EA has to be operated manually okay it, it is an EA but you know you have to make sure that you turn it on on the right time Otherwise, market sometimes is ranging, sometimes trending. No one EA is going to do the job all the time. Okay, if you make the EA according to trending, then it, you will be get you know get killed in ranging condition. And if you make the EA in a ranging condition, then you will be destroyed in trending. Okay, so very very uh, tricky here. But um, so this is what it is so far today. And uh, thanks for watching, and uh, have a great day. Come and join my webinars, okay? Bye now.